Greetings. The goal of this video is to provide you a walkthrough through the practice FRQ so that you can answer the FRQs that are overdue. Um, the FRQs are located in Topic 2 or Unit 2 Using Objects Assessment. And the two that are due are FRQ1, which has two problems, show me the money, and FRQ2, C and D, called call, call Me Maybe. And completing one of them will get you to proficient. Completing both of them will get you to advanced. So even if you can just do one of each, you'll get yourself to proficient. But we're going to do the uh, practice FRQ, um, and I'm going to do it step by step with you as a walkthrough you, so you can see how that works. If you want to follow along and get some practice, that would be awesome. But, um, and it's located right here in the practice FRQ. So um, here we have the uh, string, the, the FRQ um, write-up. And a lot of people say that uh, the APCSA exam, the FRQs are really like a reading test that uses a little bit of Java. I have to agree, there's a lot of reading to do, and I'm going to model that as I go through the problem and show you my process for solving an FRQ. So I'm going to just read this puppy and solve the first problem first. Um, you will write code to, to you will write the code to two different methods. The key to both methods is the location of the spaces, the space within one's name. The initial string, uh, the proficient challenge, will take in a string of a last first and last name and return the initials of that name. The result must be returned from the method to the calling code. Do not print to on the screen from within the initial method, this method, um, but print to the screen from within the main method. Got it. Um, so I'm not going to print from the method I'm making called initial. I'm going to print from um, I'm going to print from here where it says initial. Okay, so I get it now. It's going to return the value and then it's going to print it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Um, so, Mr. Rohde would return M period R. Jane Doe would return, to return J period D period and stuff that's invalid I don't have to worry about which is nice. So thanks for doing that. The other one I have to do is last name, which takes in a string of the first and last names and returns the first name with a comma between the two names. The result must be returned from the method to the calling code. Do not print on the same thing there. Okay, so Mr. Rody would return Rody comma Mr. Got it. Jane Doe would return Doe, comma, Jane, and garbage, I don't have to worry about. These are the same rules we went over in class talking about not cheating. Um, and also a reminder that you don't want any system outs in the methods that you create. The, the system outs are already here. You don't need to create new ones. Okay, so provided the main method, uh, copy and paste is encouraged, it's a lot of typing. You must name the methods that what they are called with the parameters provided. And remember, you can find the location of a space within uh, with the index dot operator. For example, the index of space is uh, the name of a string at some index of and then oh the literal. Okay, so that's just telling me how to get a space on um, the index of the space, which I'll need for this problem. Here's the code I'm going to use. Um, and then here's how it's going to run. So Mary had a little lamb is good. Mary little lamb is going to return M. Okay, got it. Um, Joel little letter is going to return a little letter. And um, this garbage, this one, it, it, it's not garbage, but it is, is going to work in invalid data. Uh, you can just ignore. So the, f uh, and then this is, oh, this, uh, this code is for the initial string N. Assume the method is passed valid. Okay, so I don't have to worry about checking the, the data. Everything's going to be right, and this is the code I'm going to use. So I'm going to use this code um, for the main method. So I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go to Replit. I'm going to open up a new Replit project in Java. Um, this is my practice test. Unit 2. And 
And here we go. And I don't want this code. I want the that code from the practice problem. I'm just going to run it to see if it works with the copy paste. Please enter my full name, sum, name, and it returns error, error. Ah, that's because the initial values are set to error, error. If you see error, error, you know you got an error that you didn't finish the project. Um, and then I've got to add this class, or this method, sorry, public static stream, string initial that takes in the name and it returns the, the initial. So I'm going to copy this code too. And just, uh, just so you know where it goes, it goes outside the main method, but before the end of the class. That's going to be the same with um, uh, type S. All right, so I'm going to use my auto formatting to get that. Oh, it likes it that way, doesn't it? Um, let's return a type S. Uh, type string. Oh, I see. It must return a type string. Well, let's just fix that because I remember um, um, it being mentioned that you get points just for returning the right type of data. So I'm going to create a string that gets nothing and return that string at the end of the method. Just by doing that, you get some points on the AP test. So it's a good habit to get in. I'll be emphasizing that, um, especially, hopefully you have a bunch of time for um, practice and reviews, um, but that's something that, that's just free points. So I'm gonna get my free points. Now within this method, what I have to do is I have to return the value. I, I want when um, Mary Little Lamb is typed in, I wanna return the value M L. So M period, L period. I just want the first letter. So it's going to pass in the full name. It's entering the name here. Um, that's, that's where when I type some name, it's storing that in a, a string called name. And then, ah, there it is. The initials are going to be the initials with the initial. Oh, this says initial. It says initials. That's a typo. It should be initial. And I'm going to change it so that that is right for future runs. Um, it should be initial there. Um, so that it goes to initial and then it's going to return the initial there. Okay. So let's see if it works so far. Now it should go from error to blank. Some name and it returned nothing hey i'm making progress from error to nothing now i just want the first letter so i'm going to ask result to just get the first letter of name so i have n and i just want the substring of the first character which is just like that so now it should, in theory, just return the first letter. Let's see if that works. So, some name. I should just have a capital S, right? Yes. Now, on top of that, I also want it to have a period, though. So I can just do that kind of concatenation. And boom. Let's see if that does it. And notice how I'm solving one little problem at a time, one little problem at a time. And I just take one problem at a time and I solve it. Some name, S period. Okay, now I also want result to return that last name. So how am I going to do that? Well, I can take result. I can say start with what you currently have and now add even more. I'm going to, oh, wait a second. I need to find where that space is, don't I? So I'm going to write that code that it gave me about finding the space. Um, it gave me that hint that I could use that index of space. So I'm going to use that, and I'm just going to call it index instead of index of space. And it is going to be n instead of string. And it is going to be the index of and a space. So I'm going to get the index of a space. And that's going to hopefully be the value of, oh, it's not used yet. It's going to be the index of the space. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the result and it's now going to be n 
uh, well, I'm just going to add to the old result, but you could also create a variable and do this in multiple steps, which is fine too. It's n substring, and then I'm going to start at that index, and then I only want one letter, so it's index plus one, so I get that one letter out of it, and then um, I'm just going to save a step, but I probably would test just that code, but I'm going to also add the period just, just to be fast and get it all done in that one step because I also want the period at the end. Now, odds are there's going to be some kind of bug. Um, it's rare that you code something and it works the first time, but let's try it. Some name, and oh, it, it returned a blank. It returned the space. Well, I got to go one more then. It's just an OBOB. I'm just off by one. That zero base indexing throws me off all the time. And now we got some name. And now, boom, I have S, N. I just want to check the criteria one time to see if they put a space in there. And they didn't. So they didn't go like M dot space L dot. So this is perfect. This one is now done. Now the second one asked me to flip the name around and go from um, last name to first name. And um, let's see here if there's any more description there. Assume the method that has passed the string. Okay, so it's the same kind of thing. I'm just going to do the first and last name. So I'm going to copy that out. I'm going to paste it in between the end of the main method and the um, thing. Uh, static void. Wow, there's another typo. Um, static string, yeah, there we go. So I'm going to use my little thing to get it all lined up nice. And it is going to say, it is going to say that, okay, boom, 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 boom. All right, now I'm going to do that same thing to get rid of the error. String result equals blank. Return result. Boom, and I'm going to run it. And the initials is right, but this, whoa, oh, I forgot to remove the comment here. So that code is there, the D, uh, the rearranged is there. Let me now run it. That's why doing it step by step is so smart. You find all those little bugs instead of a hundred bugs, and it's returning blank, which is what I want. Now I've got to return it last name first. So I'm going to bump up that code I used for finding the um, index of the space. Index of the space. And then I am going to have my result equal n dot substring. And I'm going to start at the index plus one again. And if I just start there and don't put anything to finish, it's going to give me the rest of the string. So now it should return the, 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 the last name. And then I'll, just because I know the comma is going to be in there, I'm going to return a comma and a space just to double check. Is it a comma and space it wants back? It is a comma and a space. So I'm going to do that. Here we go. We'll run it. Brody, comma, space, perfect. Now we just need my first name. And my first name is going to go from, um, we're just going to take that result and we're going to add to the result to add to the string just a little more. That's my first name, which is going to be n at index of zero to that index, which is that space. So I'm just going to do that part of the name next. Let's see how that looks. Ooh, that did not that did not perform like I expected. Um, I got index of zero result equals result. The second part returns zero to huh? That's a stumper. Wow. That's really weird. 
Oh, wait a second. Substring. I wanted the substring, not the index of that. Well, it couldn't find that because it was such a... I'm just surprised it didn't crash. Okay, so I want to go to substring. Let's do that. And... Boom! Returned the right results. Might want to just test it with something different. Just to make sure it works in a variety of conditions. Yes, it did. Boom. So now, what you have to do is you have to take the code from these, the methods, and copy and paste them into your, um, the blank there. So I just copied and pasted the code, put it right there. I'm going to take this method and I'm going to copy it. I want control C or you could go copy here. And then I'm going to go back to my answer sheet. Oops, I did the wrong one in the wrong spot. Oops, oops, oops. I'll put it here for now. I'm going to do a little swap. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to take this one. I'm going to put it there. Okay, so now I have my stuff done. I click on turn it in and I have completed my FRQ. Good luck everyone. I hope this video helps.